The Mysterious Siberian Fireball Disaster Unveiling the Secrets of a Cataclysmic Event In the early hours of a June morning in 1908, the tranquil region of northern Siberia was shattered by an unimaginable catastrophe. A massive explosion, accompanied by blinding light and intense heat, rocked the area, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. This event, known as the Siberian Fireball Disaster, forever etched its mark in history. In this video, we will delve into the mysteries surrounding this cataclysmic event, exploring its causes, the extent of the destruction, and the various theories proposed to explain its origins. On that fateful June morning, farmer Sergei Semenov was enjoying a few moments of respite on the porch of his farmhouse in northern Siberia. Little did he know that his serene morning would soon be shattered by an apocalyptic explosion. At precisely 7.17 a.m., an enormous blast rent the horizon, engulfing the sky in a blinding light. Semenov, thrown from his porch and rendered unconscious, would later recount the terrifying ordeal. He described a massive ball of fire that covered the vast expanse of the sky, followed by an eerie darkness that enveloped the land. The force of the blast shook the entire area, threatening to uproot even the sturdiest of structures. The remote Tunguska River Valley bore witness to the full fury of the explosion. The destruction spanned an area as vast as Leningrad, annihilating everything in its path. Herds of reindeer were incinerated, and the landscape was transformed into a grotesque tableau of uprooted trees, strewn like spokes of a colossal wheel. Even nomadic tribesmen, located 45 miles away, were violently hurled to the ground as their tents were ripped away by a searing wind. The sheer scale of devastation was only mitigated by the fortunate fact that the disaster occurred in a sparsely inhabited region. It would take 22 long years before Professor Ella Kulik of the Soviet Academy of Science would embark on a groundbreaking expedition to uncover the truth behind the Siberian fireball disaster. In 1930, he led a team of investigators to the scene, determined to unveil the secrets buried within the desolate landscape. Previous attempts had been thwarted by the impenetrable marshy forests, but this time Kulik persevered. What he discovered was a haunting sight, a landscape scarred with craters and nearly 2,000 square miles of decaying tree trunks. Equally important, he encountered eyewitnesses who shared their vivid accounts of the cataclysmic event. The eyewitness testimonies collected by Professor Kulik provided invaluable insight into the nature of the Siberian fireball disaster. People situated more than 50 miles away from the epicenter described violent vibrations preceding the sighting of a fiery object streaking across the sky, leaving behind a luminous trail. One witness vividly recalled the earth-shaking jolt that sent a friend tumbling into a river. The town of Kirinsk, located 250 miles from the blast, experienced a pillar of fire, thunderclaps, and an earth-shattering crash. Even as far as Turukansk, 600 miles away, residents reported hearing dull thuds akin to distant artillery. The descriptions offered eerie parallels to a nuclear explosion, igniting speculation about an otherworldly origin. Among the more extraordinary theories put forth by scientists is the notion that the Siberian fireball disaster was caused by a damaged spaceship from another planet. This startling hypothesis suggests that the spaceship's nuclear fuel overheated as it entered Earth's atmosphere, triggering an explosion equivalent to a 30 megaton nuclear bomb. Australian journalist John Baxter and American scientist Thomas Atkins built upon the research conducted by their Russian counterparts, presenting compelling evidence to support this theory. They highlighted disturbances in the Earth's magnetic field, patterns of destruction consistent with nuclear blasts, and the presence of trinitites, tiny green globules of melted dust containing trace elements not found in the Tunguska region. While the extraterrestrial hypothesis captivated the imagination, more conventional theories also gained traction. One such possibility is that a meteorite, rather than a spaceship, caused the devastating explosion. Meteorites constantly bombard Earth's atmosphere, 
with an estimated 200 million entering daily. Although most burn up before reaching the surface, a rock meteorite could explode just before impact, resulting in extensive damage without leaving a discernible crater. This explanation gained credibility as scientists discovered mutations in plants similar to those observed after atomic bombings. Additionally, the presence of trinitites, akin to those found after nuclear explosions, further supported the meteorite theory. The Siberian fireball disaster has also spawned other captivating theories seeking to unravel the enigma. One such proposal is the antimatter theory, suggesting that a mass of antimatter collided with Earth's atmosphere, triggering a cataclysmic explosion upon contact with ordinary matter. Another hypothesis explores the possibility of a black hole impact, whereby a collapsed star of immense mass collided with Siberia, bringing forth unimaginable destruction. While these theories capture the imagination, they have yet to garner the same level of scientific consensus as the extraterrestrial and meteorite explanations. The Siberian fireball disaster serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between the cosmos and our planet. While the exact cause of this cataclysmic event remains elusive, scientists continue to study the incident, hoping to unlock its secrets and prevent future calamities. Whether it was the result of a damaged spaceship, a meteorite, or another celestial phenomenon, the Siberian fireball disaster serves as a testament to the awe-inspiring power and potential dangers lurking beyond our world. In the quest for knowledge, humanity inches closer to understanding the mysteries of the universe. As we unravel the secrets of the Siberian fireball disaster, we gain valuable insights into the forces that shape our existence. May this tragedy serve as a catalyst for scientific exploration, fostering a deeper appreciation for the delicate balance that sustains life on our planet. <laughs>